today's tool review, the John Deere Root Grapple. Is it worth the money? I don't know. Let's find out. Most tractors don't come with a third function. I had mine installed at the dealer when I purchased the tractor. I also purchased the grapple at the same time and they put it together as a package of $1,700. Now that obviously is gonna vary from dealer to dealer, from area to area. But I thought, well, that's kind of worth it. I'll have them do it. This third function is an electronic third function, which most of them are on these size tractors. And it basically is what they call a diverter type valve. Although I can still use my joystick in all the different areas, it diverts hydraulic fluid from that. These tractors don't have a lot of hydraulic power, meaning they don't put out a lot of gallons per minute. So the more items you add, more hydraulic cylinders you add, the slower they're gonna go. This John Deere root grapple is made for a 300E loader, which is what I have on my 3025 tractor. You'll see on this root grapple, we have a single hydraulic cylinder. The bigger grapples for the bigger loaders are going to have cylinders on both sides. A John Deere root grapple is different from a debris grapple because it doesn't have the long fork sticking out this way. It has more of a dirt digging spine. Depending on what you're going to do with it, it could be great for you or it could be not so much. We plan on using it for a lot of timbering. That's why I purchased this particular unit. But if I was doing a lot of cleanup, I would definitely go for the debris grapple. So let's take a look at the root grapple online. This is how I ordered my root grapple from John Deere, thinking that it was going to be the one that you see here. Well, let's go down a little bit in the page. Everything's in the print. You have to read the prints, right? So the cutting width is 53 inches. The opening is 36 inches. The style, it was made for a 300E, which is what I have, 300E series. The width, 53. The height, 25. The depth, again, 20. They're going to keep going over and over and over. So reading all this, I thought, well, we're, we're doing well. Operational weight is 203 pounds. I thought it was closer to 300 pounds. So if we look at that again, my loader can lift about 1,100 pounds, minus 200 pounds on there. There's, there's really no way it's doing 900 pounds. But when we get into the video a little further, you'll see it in action, so you be the judge. Upper tines, four. Well, I have three. So unless they're counting the crossbar coming across, there's a tine missing somewhere. I don't know how many lower grapple tines I have, but here was the big one. One hydraulic cylinder, and that's exactly what mine is, not a two. So... They got me on the photo, but with John Deere and my dealer explained to me, always, always, always read the description. The photos almost always have something off. Max clamping grip would be a 945 pounds, which is, I guess, good enough to hold on to a log. But yes, see the photo. The photo got me. Oh, well, let's see it in action for a little bit.
my loader has a lifting capacity of about 1100 pounds. So you can see that you are gonna start losing some lift capacity and you're not gonna really get 800 pounds in here worth of anything to lift, to be honest. Um, is it worth it? Well, I like it. My wife doesn't like it. Um, she thinks, just like I said, too much stuff drops through. $1,700, I think if I had it to do it all over again, I might go ahead and hold off and get the Titan Debris Grapple. It has two different clamps and maybe in the future we'll be doing a review on that. Uh, I'll reach out to Titan and see what they have. Um, other than that, except that the fact that it's a Frontier product, which is John Deere, um, the warranty is great. I've had no issues with it. Extremely easy maintenance on this unit. You have a few Zerk fittings that you have to grease. That's about it. I don't know, $1,700? You tell me in the comments. We'll see you guys next time.